Hello and welcome to another session of data interpretation. Let's have a look at another type of questions or tables in this case. Let's take the first example. Have a look at the question. Data about a certain coffee producers in, the, in, in India is given. Study the table and answer the questions that follow. So let's have a look at the table. There are four brands which are given, Brook Bond, Nestle, Lipton and Mac. And then there are total. Now in the total, they are including others. Which means that others is not mentioned in the four which are given there. Okay. Let's have a look at the top. Production in 1000 tons. Capacity utilization. Now what is capacity utilization? It is normally if the total capacity is X. If less of it is used, then percentage into X will give me the production. Now that is capacity. Sales in 1000 tons. So production is also in 1000 tons. Sales is also in 1000 tons. It may be that the sales is more than the production, which should not be normally the case, but yes, sales and production. Then the total sales in value. Now there it was 1000 tons and then here it is value, which is in rupees crores. Let's go to the questions now. What is the maximum production capacity in 1000 tons of Lipton for coffee? So Lipton, what is the production? 1.64 and what is the capacity utilization? 64.8. Now, what will be the total production capacity? Now, total production capacity multiplied by the capacity utilization should give me the production. So, capacity should be what? Production divided by capacity utilization, which is nothing but 1.64 divided by 0.648. Now, this gives me somewhere close to 2.53. Hence, option A becomes the right option. Let us have a look at the second question. The highest price of coffee per kg is for, now the, the, the question is what? The highest price of coffee per kg. Now we know the total sales, which is the overall value that a company has sold and sales volume, which is in 1000 tons. So if I divide sales by sales volume, that will give me the price per kg. So if I start doing it, I get it for four companies, which is Brook Bond, Nestle, Lipton and Mac. But here there is others also for which I don't have a price per kg or the volume or the sales. Now I cannot tell or guess for others because there might be so many of them. There might be just one. So here there is a problem. I do not know about others. So can I actually answer a question? Looking at the options, there is an option called insufficient data. Now here is the trick. I don't have value for the other companies, so I actually cannot answer it and insufficient data seems to be the right option in this case. So let's have a look at another question. What percentage of the total market share by sales value is controlled by the others? Now there are two ways I can find it. If I say, if I find out the total volume, uh, total market share for these four companies and subtract it by 100%, I can find that market share for others. or I can subtract the volume and then find the market share individually. Now let's first of all total the volume of these four companies. So which is what 31.15 plus 26.75 plus 15.25 plus 17.45. Now this value comes at what 90? No, 90 upon 132.8. This is somewhere close to 68%. So the total value market share of these four companies is 68%. So others should be what 100 minus 68 which is nothing but 32%. Hence, option B is correct. Let's have a look at another question. What approximately is the total production capacity in tons for coffee in India? Now, all of a sudden we realize that last to last question, similar was the case and there was a trick. Is there a trick right now? Now, total production capacity for coffee in India. If I look at total call row, then I see that there is a total capacity utilization which is given, which means that the total capacity including others, what is the utilization, what is the production. So if I just calculate between these two, I can get the total production capacity. So using the same formula as in last time, which is nothing but capacity is equal to utilization divided by percentage utilization. We can say that 11.6 upon 61.3 will give me what 18,900. Okay, it might be slightly difficult to calculate. So let's see the other way around. 18,100 is the first option. If I put a 61.3% there, 
it will be less than 12,000 or rather 12,000 will be 66.66 percent .66%. so 11.6 will be nothing but 63 or 64 odd percent which will not be 61.3 hence the base has to be bigger so it will be bigger than 18,100 so the base 18,900 can also be estimated using that way now in this question we get the answer as the third option now let us have a look at the last question which company out of the four companies mentioned above has the maximum unutilized capacity now here we have simply or smartly avoided the trick in the last to last question wherein they have mentioned that out of the four companies had not had they not been there then we would have said okay it is not possible because we do not know all the companies so now we have a limit which is four companies only so out of these four companies which has the maximum unutilized capacity so let us look at the first case Brook bond 2.97 is 76.5 percent utilization so 2.97 we can assume it to be 3 76.5 let us say it is 75 so if 3 is 75 percent then 100 percent will be 4 so unutilized will be somewhere around 1 but since this is 76.5 so unutilized will be less than 1 so brook bond the unutilized capacity is slightly less than a thousand tons or 1 let us put 1 here Nestle 2.48 is equal to 71.2 percent now here 2.5 can be assumed to be 70 percent now if I say 2.5 is 70 percent then 100 percent will be what around 3.5 so around 3.5 if I just see 70 percent of 3.5 will be 2.45 so 2.48 will be exactly 71.2 or around that for 3.5 so unutilized capacity will be slightly more than 1 or approximately 1 not slightly much higher than 1 in the third case Lipton so 1.64 is 64.8 percent utilization 64.8 percent so uh, if I try to estimate the value or the total capacity here comes to 2.5 2.5 multiplied by 64.8 or 65 percent will give me what 1.625 so here the unutilized capacity is around 8.86 so this is much lesser so we will have to find out maximum so brook bond is eliminated because that is lesser than 1 nestle is close to 1 lipton is eliminated so mac 1.54 is 59.35 percent so let us say 1.5 is 60 percent utilization so 100 percent utilization will be what 2.5 but it is 1.54 and the utilization is also lesser so there is a tough fight between mac and nestle now if we calculate deeply we find out that in case of mac it is slightly more than or slightly much more than than nestle than one so here mac becomes the obvious answer so we realize out of this entire exercise that yes calculation is the key there are places where we can estimate by looking at options the way we did it for 18100 and 18900 and there will be places like nestle and mac wherein they are just too close so we will have to go and do it till the last figure in order to say that okay these two are there but here also we were able to eliminate a brook bond and a lipton for minute calculations so at the end you will have to decide or eliminate the obvious options which are not possible and then calculate it for those which are left this will help minimize the calculations hence minimize the time required so happy calculating and all the best